good afternoon, good morning, good evening. <laughs> hey family, this is Liani. So, today's video is if anyone is in Christ. I was just studying some of the word and um, on a particular verse. And then he just, the Lord just got me to writing stuff down. Holy Spirit was explaining stuff. And then I was just putting notes and different things. And it was very um, informative and it made a lot of sense. So the verse is 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. That's 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. And it reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. So what I wrote down in my notes was, it says, if anyone is in Christ, and it's letting us know that what will happen after that, if we are in Christ, it says, then it shows that we will be a new creation. So if you're in Christ, then you're new, you're a new creation. And then it goes on to say, the old has passed away. Behold, behold means that I looked up the definition. It had a few things. It said, look at, see, observe, and view. So let me read that one more time. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Now, let me use one of the words. Look, the new has come. Or look at, the new has come. Or you can put, see, the new has come. Right? The new has come. It's telling you to look at that. That the new has come. Which means you're not the way that you used to be. The old man cannot operate in Christ. Hear me clear. When I read that, I'm going to read it one more time. Because if you anything like me, I got to hear it a few times. Sometimes I catch it right away when the Lord explains it. Other times I'm like, you have to elaborate on that again. And it's a few times and then I get it. But let me read it again, along with one of the definitions of a whole. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Look at the new has come or see. The new has come. Um, like I said, you can't operate in the old man if you're in Christ. The new has come. It says, see, the new has come. So people should be able to see that the new has come. And it's not about you. It's not about, oh, look, I'm new. Look, I'm different. Look, I've changed. I don't operate the way I used to. Oh, look, prop me up. Uh, uh That's not it. That's fleshly. That's haughty. And that's prideful. That's not what he means. For you to be new, yes, people will see that there's something new. If you are in Christ, they're going to see Christ. That's what they need to see. They need to see Christ in you. Not you. They need to see Christ in you, Christ Jesus in you. They need to see Elohim, which is God the Father in you, Abba Father. And they need to see the and feel the Holy Spirit. Something about you should read to them, oh wow, there's something different about this person. There's some or or for some people, they can be like, oh, they have God in their life. They have Jesus in their life. People can just see because the spirit recognizes spirit. The Holy Spirit in someone is going to recognize the Holy Spirit in you. And then when there is something else and it's not the Holy Spirit, guess what? They're going to discern that too. Um, we, My husband and I were watching some shows and they have like a lot of witchcraft. A lot of sorcery like they're just inserting it in these shows or people doing demonic stuff or demonic symbols and all these things and I'm like so they just put in sorcery like you can see and even the people that look holy this is what I'm getting at you have got to be aware you got to have a relationship with Jesus Christ you got to have a relationship with God the Father the Holy Spirit because if you do 
then you will notice these things. You will see it all over everywhere. It's in music. Even with music, when you listen, my husband and I can listen to a song and there can be a beat and we can hear a certain thing. And we're like, oh, that's demonic. Like, it's not even the words. It's the beat. And we're like, whoa, what's that? And we can tell. When you know, you're going to recognize all kind of evil as well as you will recognize the good. You'll know when something's like, oh, yep, this is from the Lord. This is this is godly. This is in spirit and in truth. This is real powerful worship. Not not for people, not for hyping up a crowd, not for, um, you know, a popularity. It's not that. Your spirit has to be able to discern it. But when you in his word, when you spend time with him, I'm t- and meditate, li- literally like meditate on his, as the Bible says, meditate on his word day and night. Like this thing, it has to be in you. We're not trying to bash you over the head and be like, you got to do this. Like we want everybody to know Jesus. We want everybody, if they're not saved, to be saved, to know that they're saved because J- what Jesus did on the cross. We want what God the Father did when he sent his son. We want everybody to be aware and to know that and to walk in his ways. We are not going to, force people because that's not what god does one somebody will uh plant somebody will water and only god makes it grow so we all do our part that's that but um we want everybody while we while we still have time while you're still breathing and have breath in your body we want you to know and to get this and to be aware and alert a lot of these um things on tv and social media and these uh music and all this stuff is just it's it's just it is mind-blowing that you know they put these things on the tv i guess they were they we we look back at stuff that was in the 90s and 80s and we like whoa that was there the whole time we never knew we never knew but when you wake up when god takes the scale off your eyes you see stuff and you're like wow that was going on back then now they're just upright you know front and center with it they don't care anymore because the enemy knows that his time is limited and that jesus is on his way so that's why he's trying to wreak havoc all over the world with people with the believers things may happen you know um that's just what it is it's not anything new to us because if you read your bible and you know it shows the events to come and it shows in revelation the things to come so we just got to be getting ourselves prepared and be ready and that way when whatever hour the lord our god decides to come we don't have to try and get ready we're already ready But I hope that this makes you aware, that it helps you to be alert, that it gives you, strengthens your discernment and encourages you and uplifts you because I bring everything in love. God bless you all. This is Liani. Have a great day.